camera number 198 of 365 and it's the Minolta Dynax 500SI Super. Now I know I've already done the 500SI but uh, this is the Super version and uh, it looks very similar to the just the 500SI but there are a few tweaks that they've made and uh, hence the reason why it's been given this superlative title of Super. Like the previous model, it uh, features the Minolta uh, bayonet mount, which to take the lens off, you simply depress the lens release and twist, and then that can allow us to uh, see into our camera. The camera requires batteries to operate, so to get to the battery, we just simply undo the latch, and uh, you can see it's this 2CR5 which is then placed in the base and uh, being careful with the plastic latch close it and then uh, the camera is good to go. On the front here we have uh, just to the bottom right an auto focus stroke manual focus allows us to select which focus mode we'd like to use. Uh, we have uh, exposure compensation and then uh, flash uh, which uh, also acts uh, when we're in uh, aperture priority mode um, beg your pardon, in manual mode allows us to choose our aperture. Looking at the front, uh, sorry the top of the camera now, uh, we have uh, our command dial, sorry that's on the front technically, and our shutter release. We have our on off switch Switching it on, and then you can see the liquid crystal display here. And so turning our attention to the right here, we have a re factory reset button, P, which sets the camera to program mode. Uh, but we also can choose uh, the normal aperture, shutter, priority and manual modes by pressing the left hand button here, the mode button, and then rotating the command dial we can cycle through those modes. Uh, but there are also some creative modes and to reach those we need to just rotate the switch and then up on the crystal display let's see if we can, by pressing the mode button again we go through uh, portrait mode, landscape mode, macro mode, sports mode and nighttime portrait mode. And then the button on the right here, red eye reduction. I think that's all it does. Yes, that's all it seems to do. And then turning our attention to the left hand side, and this is one of the features that uh, isn't included on the 500SI, and it is only the super version, is the ability to change the ISO. So that you can see that uh, by pressing the mode button and this other button we can now, by con rotating the dial, control our um, film speed. Uh, we've touched on the mode button. The other button toggles through a uh, single release, self-timer, uh, multiple exposure and uh, double exposure. Uh, sorry, multiple exposure and double exposure is the same thing. And then um, continuous release. Uh, it also features the proprietary uh, Minolta flash. And then on the back here we have the data back which allows us to input, imprint a uh, date. Now when you look through the viewfinder on the left hand side uh, we have uh, the information regarding shutter speed and aperture and whether a flash is needed and the mode that we're in. So that's useful information. Uh, to put our film in our camera we just simply slide the latch lock down and then we just lay our camera. You can see the DX coding there and then also the battery compartment just here Oops. just here for the uh, data back. And while we're on the back here we also have the uh, ability to use uh, spot metering by pressing that button 
and also in conjunction with the flash button I presume that will give us uh, um, slow sync flash. While it does have the flash um, provision for a, a, an external flash, I did forget of course, it does have its own flash, hence the reason why it has this uh, slow sync mode. There we go. So it's uh, certainly a, f a feature laden camera as uh, of the particular age group of that camera and uh, certainly a very nice, very plastic uh, construction but uh, it was a very nice hold in the hand and uh, a very enjoyable experience to go out with that camera. So there we go, that's camera number 198 of 365.